that right there has been my uh, wall face experience so far. Getting first place in this game seems uh, incredibly easy, but I'm not here to brag about my FPS skills. I'm here to talk about the game and how it stands in 2020. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and let the video begin. Wolfface was released on PC back in 2013. It was a big hit and lots of people gathered around the game and got it going pretty good. But then came 2014. Wolfface hit a peak of 13,800 players when it was first introduced on Steam and it succeeded pretty good. I remember sitting on my PC one day when, uh, when I heard the announcement of a new online FPS game developed from Crytek. I had a lot of respect for Crytek because of a uh, crisis, so I couldn't wait to see what they had up their sleeves. Wallface is a free-to-play online first-person shooter. The game was developed by Crytek's own engine called CryEngine 5. And that is why that even today, the game still looks pretty good, even though it's been out for seven years. Now that we talk about years, seven is quite a long time, but Wallface still upholds a player base of around two to 3,000 players at the moment. Which is for some people not a lot, but trust me, getting matches is not a problem at all. And there is definitely a lot of content that everyone can enjoy. And you will always find something up your alley in this game, that is for sure. The game has two modes. So there is PvP and there is PvE. For my research and my own knowledge, PvE is the most played on consoles and US, whereas the PvP is mostly on computers on and on EU. Though not to take away from the US, but don't worry, PvP and the US still is a thing. So don't worry, you can still install it, be on the US and still be able to get matches. It's not like a dead dead game on the US. So don't worry, don't worry at all. Don't worry at all. When you first start up Wallface, and you come from other games such as Counter-Strike, Apex Legends, and Call of Duty, this game might seem very, very, very easy if you're decent at the games that I mentioned. I don't know personally if there's bots in this game, but I had a very easy time in this game, and I ended, ended up winning all three of my games that I played. And mind you, this is my very first three games that I played in a very, very long time. I think the last time that I actually played this game was back in 2016. So, yeah. In Wallface, there is five classes, whereas the SED class is the newest addition to the game. On top of that, there is currently nine different PvP modes and six PvE maps, but PvE has more than that. It also has something called Spec Ops, which is a lot harder maps, and there is a lot of them. So don't worry, there is a lot you can do, there is a lot you can play, there is many of them. There's actually more Spec Ops missions than there is co-op missions, even though that Spec Ops is still a co-op feature. Talking about the SED class, it has a ton of armor, 300 to be exact, but only has 30 HP. So when the armor is gone, you have two shots to spare before you get killed. It looks and plays kind of like a Terminator. It has a very big LMG and it spits out bullets as a, at a very fast rate, so go take it for a spin and see if you like it. I tried it personally, I don't like it, but you guys might like it. Wallface from a PvP player standpoint is very nice. So there is a ton of action. There is a nice diversity in maps. The game is getting updated regularly with new weapons, new maps, and a ton more. One thing that I don't appreciate about this game though is the weapons. They can, time, they can like at times feel very clunky and they sound very similar. Like all the weapons, all the SMGs sound similar to each other. All the LMGs sound similar to each other. And all the assault rifles sound similar to each other. There's like not a lot, there's not a lot of diversity in the sounds in this game. And I think they should improve on that. And that is pretty much it for the weapons. Warface in 2020 is still holding it down, peaking at around two to 3,000 people online every single day. It is definitely worth it. 
go and install it take it for a spin see if you like it see if you don't like it i think it's a good opportunity for people who cannot afford games such as call of duty can afford games such as any other game that costs money so i think that if you need something similar to call of duty you cannot go wrong with warface warface is definitely something to warm you up so when you do have the money to afford another game definitely go take it for a spin because it's really worth it it's a good game and it really kills it in in terms of the fps genre it's very good so talking about pvp before for you people out there that likes a challenge and like to dig deep into the competitive playlist of any game that you play warface does have ranked play so don't worry and it is gonna match you against people of your own skill i haven't been the one to try it of myself though but i've heard a lot of good things about it i heard that it does the job as it should be and yeah if you want to go ahead and take it for a spin in the ranked playlist or ranked game modes or whatever you should go and do that because uh, I think competitive is very important in 2020s gaming industry. I touched upon maps before, but I didn't really clarify what, what mapping and what kind of maps there was in the game. So the maps in Warface are, they're really a good thing, you know, they're different. They're like, they're very different. Some are very big and open and others are very small and, and tiny, but you know, there's a lot of maps and I don't even have anything to say. Like, I don't have anything bad to say against maps in Warface because they've actually done a very good job on, on them. Like you can fight anywhere between, like you can fight anywhere from a trailer park to an icy planet. Where Weapons, there's a lot of there's a lot of weapons even though the sounds could use a little change but there's a lot of weapons that you can use and if you really dig deep into this game you're gonna get rewarded for it so the more that you play the better rewards you're gonna get and the more you play with a weapon the more you're gonna unlock for it etc so it's very nice it's very good to have something to strive towards especially when you come from other games uh, call of duty and battlefield does that exact same thing but i think it's very important to have something though so when you use a weapon you're gonna unlock stuff and it's it's i think it's an it's it's a very important feature so yeah if you like a weapon go use it use it a lot and unlock stuff with it so yeah as i said warface runs on the cryengine 5 engine which can be for some computers very hard and very task heavy but luckily we live in 2020 now and for the most fact well, for the most people have a very good computer nowadays if you run around with a graphics card called the 980 a 970 which used to be a really good graphics card back then this time i know it's in the lower end now but it still can run warface pretty good actually so if you have such a graphics card if you have an even worse one go and install warface because cryengine 5 is is a lot more tolerable for graphics cards nowadays than they used to be back then so go install it see if you can have some fun with it ladies and gentlemen this was a uh, very fast video my name is Tareth and i make content every single day so uh, see if you wanted to subscribe to my youtube channel i mostly go over fps games and i play a lot of call of duty so if you want to subscribe please be make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button we really, we really would appreciate it really would help me a lot so yeah thank you so much for watching this video hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day go and install warface because it is a good game and yeah may you guys have a beautiful 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 day stay safe in the coronavirus man stay safe